Hi, I'm Heinbach. It's good to have you back. When Olivier of Gluglu sent me his new pedal, the Loop, I was a bit skeptical. I had just designed my own looper with Brambos called Gauss Field Looper, which incorporates everything I love about looping. Trying out somebody else's loop pedal at that point felt a bit mood. But now this pedal sits prominently on my mixing desk and has become an essential tool and all that in the span of just three days. There's one feature on the loop that makes it uniquely suited for my studio and I'm gonna get into that in a bit. But first let's have a look at what it actually does. The basic loop functions on the loop are easy to grasp. You hit record and then you can overdub. or replace material. And insert new material, which will change the overall loop length. And then overdub some more. And when you hit multiply, you can resample everything and again change the loop length. And this becomes very interesting when you engage the effects. Change the game for different effects. Now let's move through all these different slices using the scroll. And you get an undo. <laughs> There's a lot you can do with the basic loop functions and just the effects on here. I just mentioned games. Games are at the core of the loop. They're a sort of an Uber preset allowing you to customize each of the switches. For example, in this patch, I've got three different effects set to these three buttons. The effects on the loop are saved with each game. So let's record something. You can turn them off. And if you want to edit, you go to Effects Edit, and then you scroll around what you want to edit. For example, the mix, delay, 
or Ephes. Now why didn't you hear that change? Because you need to preview it, and that's by pressing this. It is kind of odd, this design choice, but it means you can actually play this little button. For example, when we do the pitch, you can now change the pitch to something else. And you can also assign the feedback to either the delay or the effects, which can be interesting once we use the decay, because now this is set to endless loop, but if it's set to something lower, the effect will start to feed into itself, so this will act more like an echo. And let's just save what we did here. This will be our new effect. Maybe change the pitch a bit. to okay, edit, overwrite, yes. Now let's turn this down. <laughs> when you program the effects, the first thing that you get is a mixer for delay and effects, as well as feedback for either the delay or the effects. Then you've got a pitch shifter, which goes up to 12 notes up and 12 notes down. I wish it would have gone further. Then we've got a reverse. Here are three parameters, auto F, stutter and drift, that relate to how the stutter and the reverse are used and i encourage you to read the manual because yeah this is a bit of math that you're doing here but for anyone that likes to play into loopers that play back this is pretty powerful then you've got a modulation which makes everything nice and wobbly and then a redux which is just a bit crusher
editing on this machine is pretty easy. It's only one level deep, so there's no hidden submenus or anything. The ease of the looping, inserting and multiplying made me want to try it on the monitor out of my mixing board. That way I can send any signal to it and while I'm making a track, remix it and create variations. The board is full of signals. We've got Syntrax here, we've got the Juno here, through a bond pass filter and a bank of filters, something looping on the Coco Quantas. And we've got the SHO2. This was take number six. I'm still learning how to apply this technique with the loop on my mixing board, but I love the results. And that brings me to the main point why this is here. And that is the main weakness of the loop is also one of its strength because there's no way to sync it externally and it won't put out a MIDI signal. Instead, it puts out a trigger signal. And that trigger signal is exactly the perfect level for triggering my test equipment. And at the same time, run the Cork SQ1, which can then go on to trigger all these other synthesizers. So my goal of integrating my test equipment with the other synthesizers has suddenly become a reality, as I can now use this whole wall as basically a giant remote controlled drum machine
there's also other things that are a bit idiosyncratic about this and that is there's no USB input. Firmware updates are done via the second most arcane process I know and that is via an audio file that this unit listens to. Which is always a bit fiddly to set up and it's always again fiddly to set up. If you want to share games with someone, well I hope you've got a pen and pencil because the only way to do this is by writing it out. These design decisions in 2021 seem a bit odd, but maybe they're also a bit of an homage to the original Echoplex, one of the most featured loopers that was ever made and I know Olivier is a fan of. This in some way feels like a 19 inch rack unit in pedal form and there is a purity in its design and the way you program it that stems out of a long experience with a certain type of looping which is completely different to what I've done with looping. So diving into this was for me refreshing and inspiring. And yeah, now it sits here and I'm a fan. The firmware that I'm running here is a beta. And I've no doubt that this looper will involve because seeing how dedicated Olivier is to this machine and how much passion he put in there. Yeah, this is a beautiful big slab of paddle and if you can fit it in your workflow or maybe adjust your whole workflow like I did around it, I think you're gonna have a good time. The loop is out now for $650 slash 500 euros and I want to thank Olivier for trusting me to play with this unit that kind of changed my mind about looping or at least expanded it. A track from this episode will be on my Patreon. Thanks to everybody who supports what I do there. If you have any questions, do leave in the comments below or visit the subreddit. That's it for this video. I hope you had a good time and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.